Welcome and good morning to Mike Ferry TV. It is the week of November 6th. It's November. Watch, we have two months left. We got to get to work. On Mondays at 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, I have a great group. There's 175 great agents. Probably some of you are part of that group that I get to work with for 30 minutes on Monday mornings. It's called Mornings with Mike. Two weeks ago, I did something that was a lot of fun and a little painful for a lot of our clients. And I'm gonna ask you to think about doing the same. What I did is I said, I want you to write down on the left side of your paper the following. Write down first, time management, very important, obviously. Number two, prospecting, which is something that nobody says they do, nobody wants to do, but you have to do. I had a great conversation take place about three weeks ago. An agent called me and said, are you ever gonna stop asking us to prospect? I said, well, why would you say that? Because you're so out of touch. I said, I'm out of touch with what? Well, he said, now don't get mad, but you're old. You're the old school. Today, the new school, the millennials, the young people, it's all about the technology. I said, well, tell me about that. Well, I just buy all my leads off the internet so I don't have to prospect. I said, great, good for you. I said, let me ask you a question. You buy 10, 20, 100, 300, 500 leads, and you get the leads. Do those leads call you? He goes, what do you mean? I said, well, um, when you get a lead off the internet that you purchased, do they call you? He goes, well, of course not. Do you call them? Well, I text them and I email them. Do they respond? Well, that's not a very high response rate. You ever thought maybe you should call those leads you purchased? Well, probably I should. I said, well, aren't you in essence then prospecting? <laughs> the big aha in the sky. Third, write down database because all of you have a database that you have to work, grow, develop, do business with. Fourth, aggressive lead follow-up. Now, these are not new to you, good lead follow-up. Fifth, pre-qualifying both a buyer and a seller in depth to really understand the motivation, the desire, their ability to sign a contract. Next, of course, is the listing presentation, scripted, well done, professional. Next, of course, is handling the objections they give because they do give objections. There's any one of about 10 they're gonna give you. Next is closing for the signature, having the courage to close, ask them to take the pen and sign the contract, negotiating the contracts, and then, of course, starting over again. Now, here's where we had some fun on the call. I said, how good are you honestly? Let's do a be honest. I mean, if, if we're talking about honestly, being honest with yourself, on a scale from one to 10, how good are you at each of these areas? And I asked them all to score themselves. Then I said, now we're gonna really have some fun. Let's draw a column next to these names and these particular things you have to do and your score. And I want you to write down above that, that, that column what I really know about each of these, okay? Because all of you know something about each of these. And then another column, what I actually do. So now I've got what I have to do, what I know about what I have to do, and what I actually do. And I said, It'd be fun if you actually were honest and said, okay, th this is the topic, lead follow-up, okay? This is what I know. I'm, I'm a strong eight on lead follow-up. But what I actually do is a three because I really don't like calling the leads because I hate it when they say to me, we're comparing companies or we're, we don't want to do it at this time. I said, so here's the problem we have. And I wrote this down. How do we close the gap between what we know and what we do. That's the hardest part of what you and I do. This is what your broker, your coach, what Mike Ferry works on with you, closing that gap, narrowing the gap between what I know and what I actually do. So then I said to the group two weeks ago, okay, what gets in the way of using every single one of these things at the highest level in terms of productivity? For example, I said, okay, let's take pre-qualifying. You pre-qualify to the degree that you're comfortable with certain questions, but you don't pre-qualify to the degree you're comfortable with all the questions. So therefore, instead of getting seven out of 10 contracts signed, you get five out of 10. So in a two month period, you go on 10 listing presentations, you get five contracts signed, everybody applauds, isn't that great? But 
a person that pre-qualifies 100% would get seven out of 10 signed. And let's say your average commission check is 7,000. Over two months, a lack of pre-qualifying has cost you $14,000. Do that over the course of a year. So then I take six times 14,000, you've lost $75,000 from not executing on what you know you're supposed to do. So why don't you execute? Why don't you be honest with yourself? <clears throat> Watch, okay, it's not just about you, it's about the customer, it's about the prospect, it's about your family, it's about doing the job right. It's about doing what you're supposed to do every day the way you're supposed to do it. You would be mortified if your doctor, your attorney, your dentist only did a little bit of their job when they're working on you. You'd be more mortified if the pilot at 35,000 feet only did a partial checklist to make sure the plane is operating properly because there's a good chance you would probably die in a plane crash. And yet we go out every day in the field, you and I, and we don't do our job to the level we know we're supposed to do it, and we say it's okay. I don't get it, okay? When did it become okay? Now, don't get mad. Watch, get better. Don't get angry, get more aggressive. Don't be upset. Watch, upswing your business because you're honestly going to do your job at the level you know how to do it. See, watch. What I know about each of these topics and what I actually use and do. We gotta close that gap. We gotta identify what gets in the way. What is stopping you from managing your time better? Prospecting at least a little bit every day. Being better with your database. Okay, what is stopping you from really being aggressive and lead follow up? They wanna give you a commission check. That's why they gave you their name and number what is stopping you from pre-qualifying, which is costing you maybe two commission checks every 60 days. What is stopping you from using the listing presentation we offer? What is stopping you from handling their objections? You know the answers, use the answers. What is stopping you from saying, would you sign the contract, please? What is stopping you from bringing the two people together in negotiating and doing your job? And then what is stopping you from starting over the next day, which you know you have to do? So here we are, November and December, time to do a little be honest with ourselves because you're planning, <clears throat> excuse me, 2018. And let's not write a business plan and set goals that are in fantasy land. Let's set some reality-based plans, okay? I've earned this much money in 2017. I've done this many deals, taken this many listings. But I want to get to this and this and this. What are you going to have to change? What are you going to do differently? What do you have to learn? You got two months to learn some of the skills that are required to make it happen. I know you can do it. Your broker knows you can do it. If you have a coach with any coaching company, they know you can do it. Why not do it? Just a thought. Have a great week. Talk to you next week.